What's up, Capricorns? Here to take care of y'all for April 2020. Uh-oh. All right. Here to take care of y'all for April 2020, all right? See what's going on for you guys. We're going to see what the issue is with the tarot and then uh, throw some advice down here with the oracle cards. Now, I did your guys' reading yesterday, and the messages were very clear, but it was just a little bit long, so I wanted it to be a little bit more concise for you guys because I was really trying to get up in y'all's business because it was such an interesting story. Like, it was so specific, so I was really trying to, to get in there, but... We're just going to redo it and make it concise and see what comes up now. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you guys. We're going to do a six card spread and take it from there. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Capricorns in April 2020? And this may carry into May because it is already mid-April. <laughs> Your girl needed some rest, okay? Beautiful. going on for my Capricorns. Okay, this is okay. Sort of a similar story. Hanged man, please. Please give me the hanged man. Seems like you've gone into a sort of reflective period, Capricorns, about uh, what you want to give and what you want to receive, right? And maybe gaining some independence in your relationships. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, this justice card came out last time, too. It's like you're wanting this sort of, yeah, you're like, like give and take and, and independence while also um, being a part of a collective, right, or a part of a unit. Um, you know, you're, you're kind of going through this thing where you're like, well, what, what does it mean to, to give authentically and what, what is it that I need to receive in order to feel valued and seen and heard, right? So yeah, it's like you guys are going and it feels like you guys are thinking about leaving a situation and the I feel that the advice is sort of like have patience. Let's let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can temper out, right? Let's see if we can alchemize the situation by pouring, right? That give and take, pouring pouring in a little bit of this and maybe taking away some of that, right? And that's really interesting. Excuse me, Capricorn, considering the time period that we're in, right? We are in isolation from one another and it's like we're wanting togetherness, but we're also very much wanting our own space, right? We're wanting to deeply connect and, and share with others and, and, and connect in a meaningful way. At least I know I am. And I know that there's a Venus retrograde about to happen. Um, lots of retrogrades are actually about to happen. And from what I've been looking at with astrologers, it's really going to shift how we see our relationships, Capricorn. And I feel like you guys are really thinking about that, thinking about leaving or staying, um, thinking about what does it look like for me to give but all you know what I mean kind of put myself out there but also independence right also sovereignty right also um yeah independence uh let's see here what's this energy about spirit give me this right here it's like you know that the time by yourself can it is not quite enough, right? It's like you're wanting that togetherness, but what's this three of cups about? Two cards. Mm, interesting. Ooh, lovely. Blossoming abundance at the bottom. Okay, so there's definitely about, you're about to have an insight. You're definitely about, right? And that's the hangman too, is that he goes into this suspended state so that he can, you know, connect the the physical world with the spiritual world so that he can connect his light side with his shadow side so that he or she um can um so that he, so that they can sort of get some knowledge that they wouldn't have otherwise had while in their waking state right um 
My package is here. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's like you're, you're, you see the value. That's what it is. You see the value of being by yourself, of nurturing yourself, of, of financial independence, right? Of having your own home, right? This nine of pentacles. She has a very beautiful garden, right? She's very happy with what she's created, but she also looks a little bit sad. She, she, there's a, there's a longing. There is a longing that she sees the value of being by herself, but you're also kind of wanting that appreciation that comes with being with other people, right? And so that's really interesting because we are so distant from each other and you guys are kind of wanting some appreciation. You're wanting to feel some tangible sort of, yeah, right? This give and take. Like I said, you're just, you're wanting, what's the word I'm trying to say for you guys, Capricorn? It's like you guys are wanting that shared love, that mutual appreciation, that mutual love and admiration and affection. That's what I want to say with this Three of Cups. That's what I want to say. Because um, the Three of Cups is clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, right? So it's like the Three of Cups is about celebration and, and, and joy and, and, and in communion with others. Sometimes it can talk about a th um, uh, multiple partners as well. But right, and that's why I said you guys are kind of wanting to celebrate and be in communion with others, but also wanting your independence. But I feel like there's a sort of affection that you're longing for, Capricorn, at this time. Which is fair. Aren't we all? Okay. I was just talking, actually, I can't tell y'all that on here. <laughs> that's private. Okay. Um, but yes, people are definitely longing for things uh, that they... You know, that they, you know, had grown accustomed to and they're like, man, I really miss it when they call me that name or I really miss it, uh, you know, when they touched me on the back of my neck, right? Like we're kind of coming to realize those little things that made us feel loved and nurtured and valued, right? And appreciated. And I feel like Capricorn, you're coming into that. And you're like, man, okay, let me think about what it is that I want. Let me think about what it is I want to give in my next relationship and, and what I what I'm able to give and what I need to receive, right? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's see what the advice is for my Capricorn spirit. Like I said, it's all about the balance, balancing community with independence, um, balancing what you're giving with what you're taking, balancing um that sort of isolation, you know what I mean? Like that wanting to be, right? Cause we've got the five of pentacles where they're walking away from something, but it's like you want what's in there, Capricorn. It's like you're walking away from that which you most want. And the advice is from fear to fuel, stand still and own your power. Beautiful card. From fear to fuel. Stand still and own your power. Very feminine card for my feminines watching this, but also if any men are watching this, right? Like kind of tapping into that creativity as well. And I'm feeling as if you guys can also tap into any sort of power from your ancestors, from if you guys connect with spirit guides or animals, if you have animals in your home, um, connecting, connect to your power, Capricorn, in April. Connect to your power in order to find harmony in this, right? In that give and take, in that independence and, and relationship that you're craving. Okay. The mantra is, I create space to embrace all aspects of my beautiful self. I create space to embrace all aspects of my beautiful self. When you have an unpleasant dream, implement the fear formula to alchemize that which scares you into fuel for awakening. Face it, embrace it, ace it, replace it. Instead of running, turn and face your challenge. Five of Pentacles. Don't run away from that which you seek, Capricorn. Oh, I love that. I love confirmation. Become so big that you have room inside your heart for everyone and everything. Ask how your experience could be a blessing and could make you more powerful. Then transform that which terrified you into something that empowers you, right? That kind of tear, you're kind of terrified of, well, I built this really beautiful place that I live in. And what if I open it up? What if I open up my heart? What if I open up... Um, right? What if I give a little bit more? Six of Pentacles. What if I give a little more? That's what you're thinking about, right? You are in suspended state. You're meditating, or you're you're getting Reiki. You're in your 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 mind is going. You right. You're elevating your mind and you're thinking. 
what would happen if, if I faced my fear of whatever your fear is, right? What would happen if I faced my fear? What if I could turn it into power? Like, what if I opened up my heart for my full, to my full capacity? Ashe. Then transform that which terrified you into something that empowers you. Watch as your fear becomes fuel that can be used to ignite your dreams. When fear no longer pushes, inspiration can pull you toward your dreams. Drop the tug of war of duality and enter a field of exponential power. The, the, the justice card, right? I was like, you guys are trying to find balance. You guys are in this suspended state, trying to, right? The dark and the light, the independence and the, and the, the freedom of independence, but also the freedom of being in relationship with others, right? The, the tug of war of giving and taking. <laughs> um, set yourself on fire, Capricorn, and shine as the brightly radiant being you naturally are. Finally, turn your most illuminated intentions into manifestations. Love it, Capricorn. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to do one more thing for y'all. Mm, nope. This deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I love a good... Love a good bridge shuffle. Capricorn, please. Love message, spirit. Thank you. My heart is smiling for you, Capricorn. It's like when you open up your heart, you remember. You're gonna re you're gonna remember. Oh. Okay. Nothing to fear. Right? That's how I feel. Like I feel very light and like kind of like a kid, you know? Full of trust and awe and curiosity. I'll take that. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. I just said I feel like a kid, right? Like um, that, and not the fact that like I'm 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 thinking of an experience because my childhood was when I felt the most loved. Because I don't think that's true. I think my capacity to love and my capacity to identify love in all of its many forms has only grown as I've gotten older, right? Um, but reflect on a time that you experienced love, like, and, and remember how it, 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 it charged you. Remember how it reminded you of your power. Remember that it reminded you of the power of surrender. Remember how it reminded you of the, the pleasures of the body and the power and wisdom of the body, right? Reflect on a time when you experienced love so that you can reclaim your power, so that you can turn your fear into fuel, right? That's why you're turning on your heart light. Is so that you can turn on, right? You, you remember an experience of love so that you can be fueled by that love, fueled by that, that experience, by the, you know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. Yes, turn on your heart like Capricorn. And we do have the number 99 here and 5-5. Five, five. And 3-3. Three, 3-5-5. Three. Three, three, five, nine, nine. That's crazy. Y'all have three repeating numbers. 5-5-3-3-9-9. Five, five, three, three, nine, nine. So if you guys want to look up that angel number meaning, have at it. Love you, Capricorns. Have a beautiful April. Remember to open up that heart. Open up that heart. Love you guys. See you next month. Let me know how these energies were playing out for you.